Sex Tech family, we're back with Trinia Lex. Hi. Trinia with the speaking of light, this ray of light, sunshine. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> See, that's why with, when, when singers come on the show, I just be quiet because you guys are born and, you know, God bestowed that talent unto you. So I will not make fun of the talent that you possess. I'll but, just be quiet. But God bestowed one thing upon you, too, beauty. Oh, thank you. Hello. Thank you. You, my friend, are essentially um, a renaissance woman. Mm -hmm. And not only that, you wrote your song, Notice Me. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Notice Me. Oh, Notice Me. See, this song... Ooh, I like the way you went back with it. Okay, Notice <laughs> Me is about any relationship that you're going through, if it, it, a male or a female, it can relate to both. You know, if you're going through a situation where you feel like, feel like your significant other is not paying enough attention to Ooh. you, and you're pretty much like, hello, me, I'm here, hi, mm -hmm. hi, hi, please, mm -hmm. please see me. Yeah. Put work down just a little bit. Come, come talk to me. Notice me, you know? Mm. It's more about me just expressing how I feel about just noticing me and want to be wanted and appreciated. Nice. Yeah. So when you're doing that, you also have to have reciprocity, right? Mm -hmm. So whatever it is that you want, you in turn have to also give yeah, this shout out. Yeah. So this is coming from experience, notice me? This song is coming from experience, okay. yes. All right, mm -hmm. and I'm sure a lot of people can relate. Yes, everybody can relate. Definitely. I love, I love, Listen, I listened to a few of your tracks and they sound like radio, like they're already being played mm -hmm. on rotation. And a few people listened to them as well. And they were like, oh, that sounds like it could be on the radio right now. And I'm like, yeah. And then not to mention that your voice is actually pure, true and true. Mm -hmm. Like you have that talent where mm -hmm. it's not, you know, filtered. No it's not edited, no auto tune. It's definitely mm -hmm. this natural gift that you have. Mm -hmm. When you were transitioning from going to, um, you know, school, mm -hmm. how did people receive you, receive that around you, like your parents, the people that matter the most? Well, they always saw that I had a, a niche for singing and acting and dancing. So they was like, okay, let's put her into different stuff. Like my mom had me a concert choir um, band. She had me everything. And my dad also used to play old school vinyl records. Love like it, Temptations, the vinyl. Motown. That popping sound. Uh. Yeah, like he's old school. So I used to listen to Martha Reed, the Mandela, Smoke mm. Robinson, The Miracle, all of them, you know? Nice. So that's where you get a lot of all of that. Ah, and you church. mix it all that in all your that in your voice. Love it, love it. And you work with quite a few people as well. Yes, yes. Oh um, gosh, I like have the likes of the likes of Dougie Fresh. I have worked with um, uh, Ball Greasy. I've worked with Trina, uh, Trick Daddy, Plaz. Um, also, I've worked with Atlantic Records, Universal, as being a writer, nice. writing for different projects. Um, yeah, the list. So you're homegrown. Yeah. Born and raised in. Uh, Deerfield Beach, Florida. Okay. I was well. I was born in Jacksonville, but I was pretty much raised in Deerfield, and I now reside in Coral Springs. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get more from Trini Alex in just a few. We're gonna talk more about her life and what it is that she wanna do with her artistry. We'll be back. <laughs> 